All right, happy Black Friday, YouTube. Hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. Hey, I want to show you um, another Far Cry 4 video. Uh, I'm gonna have some gameplay here and then um, explain uh, some tweaks I did. Uh, hopefully, uh, get your get your uh, game running as well. Um, at least a little bit better. Uh, I run a GTX 690, as you can probably see in the video description. And my goal is to get a solid 60 frames a second uh, using VSync, which I don't mind using, um, for my entire experience. I don't really mind if, if I have to turn off ambient occlusion or um, anti-aliasing. Uh, the main thing, again, is to maintain a steady frame rate is my goal. So, here we are in Outpost. Just want to show some action. If you look, actually my graphics are quite smooth, um, but you can tell I don't have anti-aliasing on. Um, and I have ambient occlusion sent to SSBC, which ex I'll explain that later. All right, here. So hopefully the first thing to do is take out this network. I'm supposed to tell you, right? Let's assume it's taken out. And we just go in. We'll just go in guns blazing. And 14. This one. The Call of Duty, uh, what do you call, zombie gun. What the heck? <laughs> Stop knowing that. This way. Oi! Nice. All right. So I've had uh, Precision X running in the background. Uh, hopefully, let's take a look at. Uh, that's great. I should have done better. Had two nice headshots in the beginning, though. If you look here, uh, over the last, probably the lowest frame rate we had the whole time during that section was probably 57, 51 there. Um, anyway, let's go from the beginning here. Uh, my sources here are this Reddit article. Um, and uh, this Far Cry 4 graphics performance article as well, available on G4. So, um, reddit.com, I'll post, I'll post a link in the description, um, and it's off geforce.com. Uh, Geforce, mind you, this article kind of reads more of like a technical ad, but at the same time, there are kind of cool little features about, uh, such as this, right? SSBC versus no ambient occlusion. It has a slider that you can see kind of the difference. So, anyway, uh, that being said, and I'll post that link as well. Uh, under this article, there's a post by a gentleman or a lady named Dead Leftovers. It's right there. And basically, it states a few things that you can try. So let's, let's, let's do what he said. First thing is to get NVIDIA Inspector. Everyone who's watching this, this video should know what that is. Um, look, look it up anyway on, on Google, and you can download it for free. Um, he's telling you to let's change some settings for Far Cry 4. So we hit that little wrench, pull Far Cry 4 down from the menu, and he says specifically this value: SLI compatibility bits DX1X. Change it to 0x08002050F5. That's his instruction right here instruction right there then he says click apply changes so that's done he also has a little, little section here he recommends you turn off anti-aliasing and switching to ambient inclusion to SSBC that's actually a very important tip too there's another thing that I did I have a single monitor I run a, um, a Bravia 40 inch 1080p 60 Hertz television you know HDTV. TV um, so I changed a few things here. I put I put single display performance mode. I don't know if that did anything, but it hasn't affected. Doesn't look like it affected it negatively. Uh, power management mode to prefer maximum performance. I had I had read an article that suggested that be the case, and then uh, texture filtering quality to high quality as well. Um, multi GPU rendering mode. Um, 
you notice there's a few selections here. There's a global setting, single GPU, force alternate frame rendering one, and force force alternate frame rendering two. I played with all different settings, and I found that one of these force alternate frame rendering will probably give you the best performance. Now, I'm sorry, I can't explain that better than that. But if you launch Far Cry 4 with force alternate frame rendering one, and it's choppy, try to close it and then restart it using force alternate frame rendering too. So if you want to change those values, click the value, click apply. Anyway, and that's under manage 3D settings, by the way. Under your NVIDIA control panel, which you can get to by on your desktop, right clicking and then NVIDIA control panel. <laughs> also has here system information too, which is nice to tell you everything about what you got in there. All right, cool. That being said as well, uh, here is uh, EVGA Precision X. And uh, let's see if we can, I don't know why it doesn't want to launch the other portion of it. So, you know, this is the latest version, right? Some things it'll tell you. Click over here. Now, the old version seemed a little bit better. I don't know. I, I'm having a little bit problems uh, using this one and where I found <laughs> this thing there. But anyway, what it looks like uh, the, those changes do under NVIDIA Inspector is basically uncap one of the processors to run at. You know, even when we were playing in there, look at that one was up to 98% utilization right there. So I'm looking at that value right there. Where the other processor, see right here is where we all tabbed. We changed, right? Well, maybe that's where we all tab. Anyway, oh, because we launched something, launched another window. Um, but if you can tell, one of the processors on idle. But when you look at the memory, the memory seems to be scaling equally, right? And so that never changed all the way back to where we were playing, right around there. Also here, like I said, the frame rate, the lowest that you know we had just saw was like in the 50s, low 50s. So it didn't seem... It seemed like it was it's working really really actually really well um, so I encourage you guys to, to, to try that uh, and see if uh, see if that can be at least a temporary fix until maybe Nvidia provides a little better a little better situation so they can scale both of their uh, processors to at least 80 or 90 because I bet you us GTX 690 users has so much headroom it's just like I said we're just using one processor we're getting 60 already um, let me show you uh, my graphics settings though I did make a make some changes uh, that are different from the last video whenever this feels like loading look at this oh look at that the on-screen display is finally working in the corner you see that it says 88% So I don't know if, if this means that um, basically my card is running like as if it was a GTX 680 with 4 gigs. It probably that's kind of what the situation is right now. But hey, 60 frames a second, 60 frames a second. Yeah, as a little see that little jagged. If we had if we had AE on, that would look a little bit better. Um, you know, the trees look a little better. Let me show you the video settings. Right, motion blur on, textures ultra, shadow medium, post effects medium, geometry low, vegetation medium, terrain ultra, water low, environment ultra, ambient inclusion, SSBC, um, anti-aliasing off, god rays enhance, fur off, trees off, triple buffering off, v-sync mode normal, field of view can be anything you need. And so if you look, there's not, you know, that that's 60 right there I mean here's uh, something about that ambient inclusion before we go if you notice this gentleman says if you notice something is flickering turn off your AA and switch on AO to SSBC let's see if, if, if that makes any difference because I had it before that value Only some parts of the world, you know, you look in the background and you'll see a patch that goes from 
kind of like you know bright uh, whatever and you can see too that that is a little less performance let's, let's go look at our, our our monitor so maybe a little less performance there see those are not those are not in the 60 ranges 57 59 see so that I recommend the uh, SSBC seem to really actually do something, especially in the situation where I could prove that turning it on stopped the flickering. So that was actually a really neat, I can't show it in this video because it's not doing it, but see that's so much better performance. Look at that. I want to go shoot one of them fishes. So anyway, hey, I was hoping if anyone had videos as well that, uh, you know, uh, are in regards to performance tweaking on SLI and SLI setup for Far Cry 4, please post them in the in the comments. That'd be great, uh, especially if it's GTX 690 related. That'd be even better. Uh, we can swap swap stories, I guess. Um, otherwise, hey, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, and uh, you know, tune back for more Far Cry 4 in the near future. Thanks, everyone. Talk to you later.